Hello everybody, my name is uh, Dennis Jensen and today we are going to uh, make a character. This uh, tutorial is going to be the first in a lot and we will go from how to set up the skeleton uh, and how to make the rig totally functional. We will start with the body rig and then later on move on to the facial rig. Um, I'm a bit rigging. I'm not a rigger, but uh, I'm a student. And I think it's my tenth character or something I'm rigging. We had uh, two weeks to uh, rig this character, and it was a learning experience for me. And I learned, I really learned a lot. We had a totally cool uh, teacher called uh, Neko. He's a rigger at uh, DreamWorks. And uh, before that, he was working at Framestore where he rigged uh, Despo from the Tales of Despo. Um, yeah, and uh, that's about it. This is a remake of the introduction because the last introduction I did, the rig was not finished. And uh, I figured I wanted to be uh, presented well, so I wanted the finished rig to show you guys. Um, and first, you can see this is the character. I just, after rigging him, I tried posing him out. And it worked worked out quite fine. Um, before we get going, I would like to show you the rig. So this is the rig. His name is Jan. He's a character for our uh, upcoming trailer project. Um, yeah, and it's uh, pretty basic right now. It got the uh, main controller or a hip controller, I guess it is. A controller that moves the whole rig. And he also got an addition uh, hip controller that moves only his hips. Sometimes this is a good thing. Um, he got the uh, IK arms, and if you go to the hand, you can switch to FK. And besides that, he has uh, rubber hose arms. Uh, in our week we wanted uh, it not to be totally rubber hose, but uh, a little bit rubber hose. So that's why he can bend the arm, and it will have a really sharp bend. And then uh, the animators can, if I can move this, they can add a little bit of rubber hose to him. So that was the additional idea. Um, and you can of course bend the arms. Oh, sorry, fingers. <laughs> Is this one? No, it's not. Anyway, you can see he uh, closes his hand, and you can also spread the fingers and make a cup. Yes, and then of course on the feet as well, I have some stuff. So this is basically all the stuff I had to do. Uh, the tutorial will be uh, split up in parts. That The first one will be the skeleton. Then we will uh, move on to the legs, the spine, the arms. And then in the end, we will make facial controls. So this is the facial controls right now. And uh, I think it could be fun just to show you what I did. And you can see this is moving the mouth. He can uh, smile and be sad. And uh, you can control his lips. And also we needed a kissing mouth for a shot, so I made a kissing mouth. And this is not made with the uh, blend shapes, it's uh, made with the uh, joints. So this is just moving the teeth up and down. <coughs> and also we got eye, eyelids I guess it's called, you can open close. And he can get the uh, wider and smaller eyes. Um, up here we got the brows. And this is uh, made from uh, some uh, 
feedback I got from an animator that he would like to uh, both have these uh, joystick controllers and also he would like addition controllers so he could um, create kind of his own rig that's why I made this uh, advanced uh, scaler and you can see now we get all the controllers that's there is actually um, controlling the face and if you pick one you can kind of sculpt your own face um, and this is for the jar so you can see there's really a lot of control in this rig um, <coughs> I did this because uh, I could do it in the time I had to to uh, available but um, still it was a bit complicated and a bit pressured because it's the first time I'm doing this I also have been doing uh, facial wigs with blend shapes but you don't get the same control because uh, in the eyes you can't really control it that well so I figured why not try something new and uh, go with this it was a bit uh, complicated to set up but uh, I'm really happy that uh, I did it because it works out great I think you got a lot of control so uh, that's basically it for the introduction to um, to the waking course um, I hope you like it and uh, I hope you are going to enjoy waking it can be very uh, tiring but it's really fun when it works and uh, when you see your character move and do animation currently the animators are animating on him but uh, when you see your character move it's just amazing and it's uh, really cool and all the work you spent like three weeks sitting and doing some kind of not coding but very technical stuff it uh, it's just it does doesn't matter when you see the cool animation so uh, Let's get uh, going.